In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Cantomo Portal workflow for Premiere Pro CC and the Cantomo Panel for Adobe CC applications, which, for the first time, is available for both Mac and Windows. For a lot of users, the primary way to engage with Portal is through the elegant browser-based interface. This is where you would perform most of your searches and browse individual items. One recent feature is the ability to select all of your results. Simply click on the gear menu and choose Select All on the current page. With all of the items selected, it's easy to add them to the media bin, where they'll be accessible later. New to the Premiere Pro workflow is the ability to transfer time-based metadata from the Portal Annotations tool directly to the NLE. Select an item, confirm it's the right clip, and choose Annotate from the page menu. Select the appropriate metadata group, play back the video. You can use the transport controls or JKNL. Press I to set an endpoint and O to set an out point. Name the annotation and click the Save button. As with every other player in Portal, the annotation tool utilizes an HTML5 viewer, so you can review clips in any modern web browser. To send the clip to the NLE, select the gear menu on the annotation tool page and choose Open in Premiere. The clip is imported directly into the Premiere project panel. As with other workflows, it's important to note that the media hasn't been copied locally. Both Portal and Premiere reference the same file on shared storage. Double click to open the clip into the source panel and the annotation appears as a clip marker. That's just the beginning of the new Premiere integration. The Cantima panel has been completely rewritten to take advantage of the new Creative Cloud extensibility framework based on HTML5. You can still perform searches in the panel and access the contents of your media bin. While we could continue to import all of the clips from the panel into Premiere, with the new workflow we can go a step further and bring an entire sequence created with the Portal Rough Cut Editor. Open the Rough Cut Editor in the browser. Select the Media Bin tab for easy access to the clip stored there. Click a clip to open it in the viewer. Use the JKL keys or simply drag the playhead to preview the clip. Press I to set an endpoint. Press O to set an out point, and press E to edit the clip into the timeline. Use the minus key on the keyboard to zoom out and create some room. Click the next clip to open it in the viewer. Set in an out point. Press E. Click a third clip. Set in an out point once more. And again, press E to edit the clip to the end of the timeline. Enter a name for the rough cut and click the Save button. A new sequence item is created. You could click on the item menu and choose Open in Premiere as before, but sequences can also be imported directly from the panel. Back in Premiere, Click on the Filter drop-down menu and choose All. Search again. Select the new sequence item and click the Panel Import button. The sequence and all the associated clips are imported into the project. Double-click the sequence to open it in the timeline. Press the backslash key to fit the clips. You can import other clips to continue to add to the sequence. Select a clip in the Cantomo panel and click the Import button. The editing process in Premiere is completely unaffected by the addition of the panel. The panel also includes an export feature, and if you work with XMP, it will include any metadata with the file. Click the sequence you want to export and select the Metadata panel. Add metadata as required. This example uses the Dublin Core standard, but Portal supports a much wider range of fields.
When the metadata is complete, return to the Cantima panel and click the Export Current Sequence button. Confirm that the names are correct and the preset is appropriate. The selected option here is a custom preset created in Adobe Media Encoder. Click the Render and Export button. In the current version of the panel, this will open Adobe Media Encoder. Here, you can double check that the settings are correct and the metadata is included. Depending on the requirements, you're able to embed metadata in the exported file or create a separate sidecar file. On this occasion, it's important to keep the metadata embedded, but in a forthcoming release, the Cantima agent will support either method. Click the OK button to close the metadata export window, and again to close the export settings window. Click the Start button to begin the export. The Cantamo agent can be used to automate the upload to Portal via a watch folder. You can add custom metadata, even as the file encodes. In this workflow, it's important to check the approval box to make the file available to another member of the team. Click the Next button and start to upload the exported file to Portal. Click the Done button when the upload is complete. Portal will automatically generate a proxy file and the item is available to view immediately. As for that other user, you can see, they have a very different experience of Portal. They have a different theme, and they have very limited access to the same pool of items. In fact, this user can only see items because of a rule associated with the approval checkbox. Now that it is available, this user can view the item, and even the XMP metadata that was imported with the file. Back in Premiere, the original user can see the new item is available, and it can be imported through the panel. And the metadata is available to read there too. The new workflow features in the Cantamo panel create a rich and fluid dynamic between Portal Asset Management and the Adobe Creative Cloud applications. This kind of direct relationship has the potential to revolutionize the way we work and offers all sorts of new opportunities. You can find out more about Portal at www.cantamo.com.